All right, legends, welcome to this week's edition of the CHAC, or Claim, Hydrate, Accumulate, and Compound. Yeah, and as we can see here, drip is down to two cent. Life goes on. This is what I'm saying. This is really going to test your metal. Either you're going to stay or you're going to go. You can stay, continue to hydrate, or do whatever your strategy is, or you can go, get your tokens each day, cash them, and keep on walking. It, you get, this is where that individual endeavor kicks in right here. has nothing to do with the community. It's whatever you're going to do because, the like I say, the price is at two cent. You have to make that decision. So this is the wallet that I'm working on right now. We, we're we going to we're at 6778. And this is the one we're going to be working on today. So let's go ahead, do a little bit of claiming here. So let's go ahead and go through. I'm going to claim these. Yeah, I've been busy all week, so I just like I'll, I'll just wait till Friday and let them, let them all accumulate and then go ahead and deposit them. Okay, so we claim those. Let's go over here to the farm, which is a godon. See how the garden is doing over here. We got an LP there. Yeah, so um <laughs> my mindset is, you know, I'm gonna I've been here since day one. I'm gonna stick to it. I'm a drip ninety nine point nine five drip maxi, and of course the other point zero five percent is the dogs. So I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing until I change my mind. I could change my mind tomorrow. But at this time of making the video, I'm going to do this next wallet. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Keep on with the garden. Because like we said, we know the things are coming out. We got the battler game. We got the drip poker. We got drip 21. We have the scratchies, which is going to have the drip scratchy in there as well the lending which is going to have the lending as well for the animal farm and for drip so it's why does this thing keep continue to pop up uh, why is it doing it so many times so yeah, it's trying to be patient because drip 21 should be here around the beginning of the year and like I say, it's, it's up to you. You can hold on or let go. Okay, let's go back over here. Okay, let's go down here and send these off. So we were at, we were at what, 6,770-something, 6,770. So we got 1,500 there to send. Change this to 79 and send. All right. Okay, so we did that. Yeah, I'm not going to... So There's a, a lot of wallets to go through, so I'm just going to do a few of them. So like I said, let me see where we were at. We started at... I don't know if I caught it in time before it jumped up. 6778. 6778. So this should change in any second now. And plus up. Oh, okay, we'll come back to it. All right, so let's go back here. Make sure that it's sent off. Yep, it's sent off here. Okay, let's go to the next one. So that's what I'm going to do just in the meantime. Just keep on doing what I'm doing. And, of course, there's other protocols out there. You know, oh, oh, let me go here and claim. Got 1300 in this one. Now, this one here is the first strip wallet that maxed out back in January. See, that's 1357, or I get 1221, which is $28, and th excuse me, $0.38. All right, come on down. Waiting for that to pop in here. Then we'll send them off. Okay. Let's go ahead, refresh this so we can get in here. 
We got eight LPs here. So just doing the norm of claim and hydrate or compound. Okay, took care of those. Let's go over here. Okay, so we got 1,221. And that becomes a one. Let's go ahead and send those off. All right, those are gone. Let's go ahead, replant these seeds, grow some more plants. All right, so we are good there with that one. I'm just gonna do three of them, because otherwise we'll be here all day <laughs> trying to do that. So that was two, let's do one more. Let's go to where my dog pounds are at here. Okay, let's go to this one first here. Let's go ahead and claim out of this one. We got $15.99 in this one. Let's go ahead and claim. Okay. And let's go to the farm here. We have, wait for it to populate here. Let me click off and click back in the garden. We have 4.4 .4 LPs here. Let's get these. All right, so let's go back, send them off, and then we'll come back here and walk through. Okay, scroll on down. So we have 1439. Still not sure why when you hit max here, you still have to subtract one like it's not enough or something. I don't know. All right. Okay. So that took care of that. Those are sent. So now let's go through here. Oh, let's go ahead. Well, we'll get those when we get there. Well, we're already here. Let's go ahead and max these out. Was that another 17? Is it another 17 billion? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yep, another 17 billion. Hey, I will take it by just stacking and racking. Okay. Now let's do the walk through here. All right, so now, so with the pig pen, my piggies are still there. I'm not doing anything with them. I'm just letting the BUSD accumulate. Because I mean, I'm just so... Yeah, twisted, I guess, a torn. <laughs> I don't know if I even want to keep the pigs or not. Definitely don't want to sell them at $17, but that's why I haven't really done anything with them. I'm just going to let them accumulate here because if I want to be able to pull them out, I want to see, I can at least pull half of my pigs out right now if I wanted to. So I don't know. I know Piggy Plinko is coming and there's so much coming for the animal farm. So I don't want to, you know, Jump the gun, I guess, is the way to say it. So I'm just gonna let it do what it does. So I'm, gonna let, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get any more. The, the pig, um, maxis can do what they want to do if they want to get the thousands. Do what they. Hey, it's up to them. Like I say, it's an individual endeavor. I'm good to go with what I have here. There's other options that's that's out there. So of course, I'm gonna take advantage of them. All right, so now with the piggy bank, let's take a peek in the piggy bank. This is my one sole piggy bank. Uh, where are we at? We got a whole $4 in truffles. Let's go ahead and compound those. I don't know if I want to start claiming out of this thing. Like I said, because you don't want to jump the gun because then once V3 comes, then you have to decide, you know, at that point, I guess it would be the best time to do it because you can see how pigs are going to do. Because if pigs go back up to, I'll say, $100, and then the pigs in the pig pen are earning a dollar a day, that's 50 bucks a day just from the pig pen. Then that's going to bring up your LPs here in the piggy bank. So it's, it's all like a vicious cycle. Okay, so that took care of that. Let's go over here to the dog pound. So I hit my goal last week, as you saw. I got 100 and 100 in there. 
Oh shoot, this is the first time I think it's been under three dollars up here for the dogs. It's two ninety nine a dog. Ooh. Like I say, I'm a dog maxi, so I don't know if I wanna No, I'm gonna stick to my <laughs> my goal. I don't know. Cause they're so cheap. And and the mastermind said that there's some things coming specifically for the dogs to increase the revenue for the dogs and everything. So I'm where I wanna be. And if you missed that, you may want to check two of the dispatches back. And he made a mention of that. And I posted a copy of his statement that he made in Telegram in reference to that. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm going to sit where I'm at. But you can see the difference in the two pools here. Well, you know what? Since it's the first, I'm going to go ahead and claim and, and even them out. I'm not going to move the pigs. Do I have any? Because I thought I had some dogs down here. Because if I have dogs down here, nope, no dogs. So if I claim them, yeah, so I'm, I want to, because I want to start the month fresh so I can see which is going to be better. Granted, there's an extra 15 dogs, but that's not going to make that much of a difference. Because as you can see here, you're talking 241 and 10 cent. So let's go ahead and claim that schmission of a pig just to set it back at zero. You know what? I'm going to even leave it there. I'm going to cancel that one. I'm going to pull the B&B &B out. I'm going to give this out a little head start because it, it definitely needs it. So let's go ahead and take this out. Okay. And we pull that. So this will go to zero. And we'll start the month of September just like this. I'm not sure this should change our reduction. My loyalty reduction should drop, should, excuse me, should increase as well. Okay, we're just waiting for this to go through. Okay, and nothing in the farms. Even if I, if I would have had something in the farms, I would have already had pulled it because when it's time for the migration, it's, it's a lot easier to go in brand new than trying to move it. It's meh. Yeah, so I don't think there's all my farms should be empty. Oh, uh, there's a this schmission here, a whole 0.398, not even a half of an LP. I think that's all that's in here. Yep, yep, yep. Then the one I was in, cake. Yep, my cake one is empty. Yep, so everything's empty there and there for the farms. And then the pools, of course, we're waiting. Um, well, there won't be no more single pulls once V3 comes. So my thing is now I just want to wait till V3 comes and then try and see how the manager that the mastermind created to keep us in the range is going to work. Because there's options out there that you don't have to worry about being in the range because if you go out of range, then you don't make any money. So, of course, you know, the mastermind, if he makes it automatic and it stays within the range so we can stay in profit, then that's something different too. All right. So nothing in the pools. Let's go back to the dog pound. It should have. Okay. Should have zeroed out. Okay. So here we're going to start September just like that. So we're giving him the 10 cent head start. So we're going to see how it accumulates. And the, okay. So we have the claimable piggy over here too. So that the same 10. Oh, wait a minute. So we got claimable piggy here of 0 0.0057. Then over here, you got an additional one for 0 0.0068 for another 12 cent. Yeah, I'll leave that because the piggy, that, they need it. Hmm. I guess with the pig value dropping then down here at the bottom for the L, for the LP here. We have $13.62 in the AFD BNB LPs. So that one, which is time to migrate. Well, you know what I could do? I could sell that, buy some more pigs, and then stake them in the other one. Hmm. That's almost four pigs, and that would make it 105. Ah, we'll see. 
Okay, so that's that. So now let's go check on the one that I was on the newest one here. Let's see how we're sitting here. So we started at 6,778, and we are now at 10,543. So let's go ahead and compound here. Should almost put us at 11,000, and I still got a couple that I need to go ahead and send over. See, we're going from 96 days. Let's see what this, what that goes to. Shoot, 464. I should be down in the 70s. Let's see. Go from 96 days. This should go to almost 11,000. Okay, we'll just wait. So it should be 11,000 and somewhere in the 70s. Of course, it won't be 70 days. Okay, let's do a refresh because it's taking a while. We'll just click off dashboard. Oh, the faucet. Okay, so we went 10, oh, 9. I'm surprised it didn't, should have went down. Mm. Okay, 92 days, and we're almost at 11,000. All right, legends. So this is our normal weekly claim, hydrate, accumulate, and compound. Thank you for your time. Like I say, this is an individual endeavor. This is where that part kicks in. So do whatever you're going to do. You had your strategy in the beginning. We know things are coming. And like I said, this is just going to test your metal of, you know, what you want to do. Because whatever decision you decide to do has to be what's best for you, your family, and your family's finances. Don't worry about what I'm doing, anybody else. It has to be 100% what's best for you. If it's best for you to move left, then you move left. If it's best for you to stay, then you stay. If it's best for you to move right, then you move right. That's it. Because as always, this is for informational and educational purposes only. This is never intended as any type of financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. I'm just here just sharing some information and showing what I'm doing on a weekly basis when it comes to our drip and animal farm. So, you know, like I say, I'm not a financial advisor, so don't take no financial advice from me. So like I always say, always remember the three. Well, number one, I'm not even worried about the other three. This is an individual endeavor. Always do what's best for you, your family, and your family's finances. Because that's all that matters at the end of the game. Because like I said, nobody else is going to pay your bills. All right, so I'm going to end it there. I'm going to keep continuing and do what I got to do here. So as always, just please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And to all of the legends out there, stay strong, stay legendary, and engage.